mommy wants it won't amount to anything. He looks irresponsible, but mommy, look at this. He's responsible. He's a, he's a gentleman. What else do you want me to look for in a man? Look for your Yoruba boy that is responsible and loves you. Robato! Ah. Are we back to this tribe argument, Titi? I am not arguing, you no. Know. All I am saying is that your relationship with this evil boy will not work. Go lay low, be coco. Ah. Viola, Viola, calm down, relax. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. relax. Oh. It didn't work. What are you saying? It didn't work. It's been 15 minutes. Viola, calm down. Oh. It wasn't poison. Then what was it? I don't know. Whatever it was, was supposed to make him see a monster when he looks at you. Well, that was according to her, but it clearly didn't work. <laughs> Time for Miss Evil. Fiona, she's just desperate. God, please help me. Thanks for staying with us. We have a mommy dada is a Fast rising Nollywood actress, model, aspiring movie producer, presenter, voiceover artist, and a television personality. She's also proven to be a force to reckon with on a stage, as she's done several stage performances where she always shines through. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank mommy. you. Thank you. Oh my God. I was blown away by your literary performance. Yes. It, was, all of us. <laughs> it was out of this world. Thank you. Like, so I'm so happy thank to see you alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know where to start from because I'm still from that. I know you've done many movies before Oluturi, but it sort of seems like right yeah, now, yeah. this movie, this particular one is going to like take the shine. Mm. And um, how has the response been to this latest movie? And how has that made you feel? <laughs> it's been so amazing. The response has been fantastic. And not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, but all over the world. Wow. Because Olotere is the second Nigerian Netflix original. So it's not just a Nigerian film on Netflix. Mm. It is a film that has been acquired by Netflix. So wow. it, is, it is Netflix property. So it's in everywhere Netflix is all over the world. And to think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a film that talks about the subject matter of human trafficking and sexual mm. trafficking, which is a topical issue which is something that is going on right now. Yeah. So many people have lost their lives. So many people have lost their existence. Someone is still trafficking someone right now. There are some people that are still on their journey to quote and unquote to Europe, you know, seeking the better life. So it, it's a world phenomenon. Mm -hmm. That is why it has really, um, it, it has found its way into the warmth of people's hearts and everybody loves it. Yeah. I mean, we've been on CNN, Forbes. We know. Uh, <laughs> we've we'll been everywhere. following you. People are talking about Olotere. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone wait. is talking about Olotere all so over the world. You need to walk me through that <laughs> particular role you played in Olotere because Obiadulu made me see it. That tragedy, I had <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> you know, I'm a, fan, I'm a fan of yours and I did not want to see you like that. So let me know exactly oh. what what did you have to do to get into that rasness? Because I've always seen you posh movies. <laughs> but that's pigeon the please, what exactly did you have to did you really need to study someone or you just it was just natural for you? Pigeon done. Uh, it wasn't natural for me. Okay, the <laughs> pigeon part, let me say this. I know how to speak pigeon. So all the pigeon that you I know, normally I speak pigeon where we are, the young pigeon where we are. your tongue with the That one's big. That one's big. That one's big. That one's big. But playing, playing the character Linda, I would say was very, very challenging. Hmm. It's one of the most challenging characters I've had to play. I love challenges. You know, if any character <clears throat> doesn't challenge me, I don't take up the script. But the first time I read the script, I cried. Hmm. I cried a lot because this was not just fiction. This was not just yet another story. Hmm. This was us having to tell the story of people that truly exist. Hmm. And there are so many Lindas out there. There are so many Vanessas out there. People hmm. that have resorted to selling their bodies just because, okay, they want to make ends meet for their family yeah. members. Hmm. They want to give their family members a better life. Um, Firstborn <laughs> girls who want to make sure that their younger ones, you know, are educated, have the best in life. And, you know, they are taking it upon themselves, you know, at, to be the sacrificial lamb for the family. Mm. Now, the character Linda, 
um, was more emotional because she was dreaming. She was she wasn't dreaming by oh a selfish cause. She was dreaming by the love for family. Mm. And there are so many people dreaming mm. by the love for family, yeah, and things. they would do anything. <laughs> now I had to I had to go to different brothels. You know, um, when I was working on the character Linda. I, I had to study um, prostitutes, how they behave, you know, how they talk, their mannerism. And, you know, what I found out that these people are normal human beings. They feel the kind of pain that we feel. You know, they have the good heart. They are good people. They are nice people. Only that um, life has subjected them to certain situations and they have kind of made the wrong, you know, decisions in being, um, at being where they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, Linda was very, it, it was challenging. I don't smoke in real life. <laughs> mm. Mm. Don't, don't. <laughs> I don't smoke at all. <laughs> but on set, I had to. I remember our, our first day on set, you know, I smoked like 14 sticks of cigarettes. By the time I got to my hotel room, it, it was, everything was different. You know, I was throwing up. I was, I, I, you know, I, my system just was like, yo, oh, what is this for girl. me? But I had to, I was sick most of um, some time on set, but I just had to keep at it because this story was the story of someone and it had to be well told. I had to be strong. And thank God we had like a fantastic director, Kenneth Kian, yeah. who, who was there for us, who would ask you also Platinum. the production, Ebony Life TV, championed by Mo Abudu. They made sure everyone was fine, you know. Um, Every, everything was on point. Mm. The, 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 whole, the whole production was really divine. Everyone brought their A game. So when you come on set every morning, you know that what we're doing is, quote unquote, okay. quote, we're preaching, Fine. we want to preach. Yeah. Do you understand? And we just had to be strong for it. So okay. yes, I don't smoke, but then I had to smoke. Okay. Also, um, I'm not a Bini girl. I'm a, ah. Yoruba, I'm a typical Yoruba girl. But you did flow the language. Bini. Ah, yes, I you did I try. had to learn it. Yeah. Oh wow! I had to learn it, and I had to make sure. I had to make sure that my yeah. bini was like a bini girl, <laughs> and I would say that bini is one of the best languages in the It was. It was really <laughs> challenging, but it was yes. worth it. And. Um, I'll do I'll do roles like that over and over again. Definitely. So we'll take a no quick break now. Challenge. We'll take a quick break now. When we come back, we'll take it through other areas of the industry that you've done. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. We still have a more Mida down on the show. And we've been just behind the scene about the smoking. Yeah. Mariam. Yeah, so <laughs> it was good that you talked about the smoking because my next question was that there are so many things that were done in that movie that I was cringing. I was like, I don't think I would never do this if I was to act. You know, there's um, the, the, scene, no, the scenes where they had to go for that night party. Some of them looked like they were doing oh something. Oh, my God. And my question is, hmm, you know, now you've explained to me that you actually had to smoke. But the other ones, those very intimate and risque Robin, Robin. behavior, <laughs> how much of it was true and how much was just an illusion? <laughs> true. Oh, it, it was all an illusion. Okay. Nobody, <laughs> nobody did anything funny with any... But the most that happened was um, kissing. The touching. No, no, the touching. Nobody would definitely do that. The Sorry? touching. Touching. There were Groping. some parts where you had to oh, grow. So I know that. <laughs> to grow up, to grow up. All those ones. The lap dance. The lap of hair, all those kind of things. Was it okay, real? So now the lap, the lap dance in the house, in the deserted house. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the lap dance in the deserted house. Of course, I wasn't going on the guy's manhood. It was on a side. <laughs> but that is why, you know, acting is all about make believe. Yeah, so we agree. At that particular point in time, what will thrill you is the things that are going on in Linda's head. Hmm. You could, you can see all the expression on her face. You know, so you won't, you won't necessarily concentrate on, you know, the sexual thing that she's yeah, doing so, because yeah. even her doing it she's not happy doing it yeah i mean at this point in time she's not doing it from a place of work mm. she's doing it from a place of someone is making me do this in the presence of my exactly. sister sister yeah. i have to do we this. saw the pain i mm. have to do this i have to demean myself mm -hmm. you know just because i want this better life for myself mm. and those let guys, me throw in this question point, they had messed up with everybody let All me right, let so, you throw in this question um, i believe that every entertainer mm -hmm. has a voice mm. and um mm -hmm. we try as much as possible to preach to 
young ones out there that there are always alternatives. So instead of you going this way because mm -hmm. you think you do not have a choice, there are people who are in the same position as you who decided to work with their hands, learn to make hair, learn to do makeup, learn to cook, learn to do something to make ends meet mm -hmm. and help their family. Now, what in the future, in the near future, what are some of the things that you're going to be you know, speaking about to young people out there? What are some of the things based on um, what you have done in the movie, you have preached in the movie, but how do you intend to take it up a notch? Okay, so I'm working on um, the Omomi Dada Foundation right now. Okay. And the Omomi Dada Foundation is such that um, we cater for people who are needy and um, we help them get a better life by equipping them with skills, um, vocations, and things like that. Also, we'll be championing health courses because we found out that there are so many people who are uninformed enough about um, their health and certain um, health issues. Then we're also going to be fighting and standing up for the voices of young people when it comes to certain humanitarian causes. See, like mm -hmm. NSAS now, we will be talking about that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, um, see, everybody is important. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria is a great country. Nigeria might look shady and Nigeria might look bad right now, but the onus is on us as individuals to make better decisions in making Nigeria a greater place. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a nation, but an individual makes a family. Mm -hmm. Families make the society. society. Well so done. it starts from you as an individual. What are you doing with your hands? How are you helping the, your, the next the person awesome. beside you? Mm -hmm. How are you putting smiles in the lives of the people around you? So the onus is on us as individuals. And the Dadamomi Foundation is going to be championing that cause, talking to the young people, because we are the future of today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank like you that. so, well so done. much. Thank you so, so you. much. Thank That's you. Akimboye says, I watched the film, and wow, it's an eye-opener. Mm. But there should have been a warning for anyone affected by some gory scenes in the film mm. to seek psychological was help. Was it rated 18? <laughs> I think it was rated 18. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amomi. It was great having you on the show. It was great. Um, I'm sure you. you have many other projects, but it's just that the latest one took the shine <laughs> on today's interview. But we're wishing you all the best with the foundation. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. I'm a huge fan of yours. Aww. Aww. And that's all we can take on today's well, show. I you guys from the inception. Oh, the that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, that's all we can take on today's show. Don't forget our Hero of the Week. Discuss this with your um, children. Girl, children at home. And let us just model the right values. Have a fabulous weekend. See you all next week. Bye.